Welcome to Yellowstone, the world's first national park, a geothermal paradise and home to thousands of wild creatures. Beneath its natural beauty lies the story of life, struggle, and wonder of its inhabitants. The American bison, a woolly giant that symbolizes Yellowstone. They are the largest land mammal in North America, weighing over 900 kilograms. Every year, bison herds migrate across the valleys and mountains, braving brutal winters and deep snow. They are more than just an icon. They are the lifeblood of the park's ecosystem. Beneath this natural beauty lies a force we don't yet fully understand. The geyser basin, where boiling water, steam, and hot mud meet in a deadly dance of the earth. But what if, one day, that pressure explodes without warning? Here's a science simulation of a future eruption from Yellowstone's geyser basin that could shake the world. Yellowstone's geyser basin is the most active on Earth. More than 10,000 geothermal features, including geysers, hot springs, and mud pools, are concentrated in the park. But some, like Norris Geyser Basin, are exhibiting increasingly unstable behavior. Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest geyser, experienced a major reactivation in 2018. The Black Diamond Mud Pool erupted suddenly in 2025. All of this is a sign that this system is evolving toward something more large. Beneath the surface lies a complex system of steam pipes. Rainwater and snow melt, seep into the ground, and are then heated by hot rocks from the magma chamber. Under certain conditions, the pressure in this system can reach a critical point and when a small crack or earthquake occurs, that pressure can be released in a violent explosion. Geyser eruptions aren't just jets of water. They can turn into hydrothermal explosions that throw rock, steam, and mud hundreds of meters. In 2035, after a series of shallow earthquakes, Scientists noticed a major change in the Norris Geyser Basin. Temperatures rose, geyser plumes rose higher, boiling pools began to bubble unnaturally. Then, a sudden crack, pressure trapped for decades was released all at once. A massive hydrothermal eruption occurred, sending rocks 100 meters high, deadly superheated steam, and molten mud flowing. The blast radius reached more than one kilometer, Dozens of visitors had no time to escape. Seismic sensors recorded a pressure spike before the explosion, but it was too fast to detect. Early warning. The Norris area is completely closed. The air is polluted with toxic gases. This eruption serves as a reminder. Yellowstone poses not only a risk of a supervolcano, but also of deadly local hydrothermal vents. Is an eruption like this inevitable? Not necessarily, but it's a possibility. Nature has a way of sending us signs. But will we listen in time? Yellowstone's geyser basin is more than just a tourist attraction. Beneath the beauty of Yellowstone National Park hides one of the most complex and dangerous geological structures on Earth, a giant magma chamber that's truly messy. It's not just a pocket of magma. It's a layered, massive, and highly active system, constantly in motion. A magma chamber is a pocket of hot, molten rock that collects beneath the Earth's surface. But Yellowstone? It has two main magma chambers, one above, one below, feeding off each other and causing chaos. Upper chamber depth, 5 to 17 kilometers. Lower chamber depth, 20 to 50 kilometers. Total volume can reach 46,000 cubic kilometers. Imagine a huge, complex, and unstable plumbing system, like a geological time bomb. 
Scientists have discovered that Yellowstone has two systems. An upper magma chamber filled with molten and semi-molten rock. Larger, gas-rich lower chamber that controls the system's pressure. And what's even more surprising, the two are connected. When pressure below rises, magma can be pushed upward, increasing the risk of an eruption. Scientists call the Yellowstone magma system messy because it has no single shape. Magma spreads in small pockets, narrow channels, even fissures that change direction. Unlike cone volcanoes like Fuji, Yellowstone is a caldera, meaning its entire landscape is a remnant of an eruption. Magma is widespread, making eruption prediction extremely tricky. It's like trying to read the mind of an underground monster, which has no fixed pattern. To understand this chaos, scientists use state-of-the-art technology like satellite GPS to detect millimeter-sized ground shifts. Seismic tomography, like underground CT scans, and measurements of gases like sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and steam. Every year, the land around the caldera can rise or fall as much as seven centimeters, a sign that magma is constantly moving. Yellowstone is moving. It won't erupt every day, but it's alive and we know it. Signs of an eruption can appear years in advance or just weeks in advance, such as repeated small earthquakes, rising water and steam temperatures, changes in geyser patterns, and surges of sulfur gas. In 2023, a series of 1,200 small earthquakes in a week alarmed scientists. But that's just part of Yellowstone's normal activity. Herein lies the challenge. Which ones signal an eruption? Yellowstone is a reminder that the Earth is a living thing moving, changing, and sometimes exploding. Its magma chamber is unpredictable. But the more we learn, the better our chances of being prepared. Beneath Yellowstone, it's not just magma that flows. It's the knowledge, challenges, and hopes of humanity to understand the Earth we live on.